Hi, in a previous video we ended up with uh, finished board. Uh, and now we will assemble the whole PDA. But firstly I will address some issues on the PCB and mainly those contacts because they are too sharp and I'm worried uh, for the battery because it could get punctured from those so I will touch them up with a soldering iron and be careful not to make any pointy um, solder blobs there and also uh, I will solder the speaker In my PDA I'm using this tiny speaker and it sits right here on the SD card slot and it's soldered right there and it needs to be like a mm, tiny bit higher so I am mounting it on like this double sided tape I would form the tape into like a tiny cushion and stick it here and then as an alignment tool I would use the case for the PDA put the speaker to the top half in the top half and then just Press it together like this, move it away and the speaker is now in the exactly right place. The only thing is to solder it. Now the mainboard assembly is complete and uh, we can assemble rest of the PDA. We will start with the front plate and we will insert the LCD. I'm using like this LCD, those LCD panels. And first thing is to carefully first thing is to carefully peel the protective layer and you can keep it somewhere so this is the LCD and it fits in the case and it fits in the case like this okay if it doesn't fit perfectly there might be some imperfections from the 3D printing process so we will cut those imperfections away all right uh, this area like around the LCD is most important to stay clean because if some speck of dust or piece of plastics fell in there, the touch screen uh, wouldn't work properly. 
So now we insert the LCD. Verify that it's it sits flat in the case. And now we will mount it with those with these four LCD mounts. They are like press fit. These LCD mounts will be pressed into place and they will they have like tiny little legs so they will stay in there. Alright. So now we will screw in the LCD mounts. Each of the LCD mounts is held with two screws and one should be enough but if you like rip the threads of uh, one screw hole you have some redundancy. These are self tapping screws. Okay, so we will verify the position of the LCD and it looks good. And we can also reapply the the protective screen cover like this, just not to get scratched not to scratch it during the assembly. Okay, next thing are button are button inserts and they are just held there. Then we will attach the main PCB. It's a bit tricky. But it can be done. Okay. Now we must fold the LCD flex cable like this. So it's nicely folded inside. And now we will screw in the board. Each of the screw holes is marked with a little arrow. Like this one or this one. There might occur some like fitment issues with the buttons. So try the buttons after you screwed all of the bottom screws. And if the buttons can be clicked, just mm, untighten some of the bottom screws. That will fix it.
So now we have it assembled and we can put the back cover on. Okay. With all the screws in, we can put the battery inside. And as we can see, it's alive. And it works. Okay. Uh, now we will adjust the stylus locking mechanism because it's a bit too hard. It can be done by sanding off uh, this part of a stylus. You don't need too much, just a tiny bit. Then try. And if it's still too hard, okay, you need to press it harder. You don't want it to be too sloppy because the stylus locking mechanism will wear itself out a tiny bit over time. So this is like enough. And that's it. The PDA is done. And now we can clean the screen and apply some like better screen protector. And that's it. Goodbye.